so loud. Yeah, 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 I know what you're thinking. I am not gonna fit into this. Why are you selling cute blazers for three pounds? Over 50% of all the clothes that I bought and kept this year is from the thrift shop. Charity shop. Thrift shop. Charity shop. Anyway, today I'm sharing with you guys some of my favorites and some very questionable pieces that I've picked up. There is a reason, guys. So stay with me in this journey. There is a reason why I've picked up some of the things that I've picked up. Some you might agree with, some you might not agree with, but that's the whole point of today's video. Thinking about all the clothes I'm about to try. It's already going to be... It's, the things I do for you guys. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and without any further ado, let's get started. On this rail is some of the items that I have thrifted over the years, like not like maybe a year or two ago, to be honest. I can't wait to share them with you guys. Like I drift. When I go drifting, I actually go with intention. Sometimes I just aimlessly walk into shops, but that's not the point. I want to show you guys some of the best pieces and some pieces a bit like questionable, but like I said, there is a reason, there is a purpose for this. Some of my favorite coats, I actually found them in the summer. So the key takeaway is to make sure you're drifting all season. I know you're looking for a winter coat and you're going during the winter time, but sometimes it's better to go in the summer because you'll be finding some gems because no one else is such search searching for those items that you're looking for because it's the wrong season i have styled some of these pieces so if you're not following me on instagram shameless plug right here make sure you follow me on instagram i feel like i've done enough talking let's actually start showing you guys what these clothes look like be real the plan was to try on every single outfit and talk you guys through it but let's be realistic if that happens we're gonna be here for a long time so i'm just going to show you guys picking each item off the rail and talking you guys through the process how much they cost hopefully if i can still remember and you know insert some videos and pictures if i've styled it already or if i haven't just talk you guys through how i plan or how i intend to style them i'm obviously gonna start with one of my favorite and that is this motorsport jacket i know everyone's going crazy for them last year i was everyone i was going crazy for them but there was no way i was going to be spending a crazy amount i was seeing some used ones going for like 200 and something pounds over 100 pounds and i was like that's not me i found this in a size 12 and i found this for 35 pounds from one of my charity shops in my local local one of my local charity shops i guess is the best way to say this is like a real the real real, real like guys it's so stiff it's unbelievable so there's still the original padding and all of that stuff i'm going to be removing the padding so i can wear it and more comfortably another one that i absolutely love i love the fact that the hood is completely detachable if i can ever get around to showing you guys so you can wear it without the hood and you also have the hood for days if it's raining uh, i really like this for when i need like a lightweight um, jacket to take with me and i got this from one of those kilo sales um situations so it was this and two other items and they come up they came up to around like 40 something pounds so i'll say this is like an estimated or 15 pounds or so i have been wearing this jacket long coat whatever you want to call it everywhere and nowhere i believe it's shower proof i've never really tried it because luckily i love taking an umbrella with me and i've never been like caught up in the rain yet let's not jinx it but this is again it's just a really really lovely trench the only thing i hate about it is so loud like honestly it can be so loud which is so frustrating but she looks so good with so many things i've styled it in so many different ways that i would take the loudness anytime any day i feel like it's kind of hard to find like a nice almost lightweight weatherproof um weatherproof waterproof jacket that is like a trench coat so this is my go-to waterproof trench coat and it's also quite lightweight so this and that jacket and another like gilet that's not mine um was got from the kilo sale so I would say again around 15 20 pounds for this gorgeous piece 
guys. This Max Mara Studio piece has me, had me, got me so excited. Like, honestly, when I saw it, I had to. I just literally had to. They go for around like 400, 500 pounds. So when I saw this bad boys for only a tenner, I just had to. So it's kind of like a crop jacket, like almost a blazery vibe. And I'm absolutely loving that preppy formal wear situation at the moment. So this is gonna fit perfectly in my wardrobe. In terms of revamping it, I can tell it's had a good use out of it. I mean, even when that amount of money on a jacket, a coat, a shirt, I will also be making sure to get my money's worth. So I will be dying and I'm thinking about adding some fine details to it so make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not subscribed so you see how I revamp and how I bring it back to life but this is one piece that is gonna be with me for a hot minute I absolutely adore blazers I think at this point it's become an obsession and I need to stop collecting them but this shops this charity shops the strip shops won't stop selling them for three pounds so I honestly do not think it's my fault I think it's the fault of the store because why are you selling cute blazers for three pounds and you think I'm not gonna take it I mean I'm, I need them in all colors so at this point I'm trying to stop so everyone send in your love and prayers because hopefully I get to stop now that the waffling is done let's move on to the first this is my latest addition guys this let's talk about it let's actually talk about it so this is the blazer set it comes with the waistcoat and the trousers I literally have to drop everything so you guys see the material so you guys see the quality so this is the pair of trousers that it's come with I'm not gonna lie I'm still thinking of making this a skirt I'm absolutely obsessed over those tailored skirts long oversized tailored skirts going on vibe at the moment and I'm doing everything in my power not to like start cutting everything in my wardrobe so a lot of the pieces that I've bought is for that purpose but because the leg is quite skinny it fits really well by the way and the leg is quite skinny I don't know if I'll have enough fabric to give me that um, tailored skirt kind of vibe but it's so, so good. And yes, when it comes to blazers, I absolutely shop the men's one because the women's blazer set or the women's blazers in general, I do not like how they fit. I'm not gonna lie, they just they just fit so flimsy. And sometimes I, I'm wearing a blazer for the, you know, for the feet and they don't give. So when it comes to blazers, men's wear always for me. Not my battery going off and dying. I just realized I didn't tell you guys how much the set costs. All three pieces was eight pounds. Eight British sterling. I mean, come on, this is not my fault. You know what is crazy? I actually need to fix the button. Look, she's she's on her way out. <laughs> and I'm just leaving her just hanging around. I remember every time I need to wear it out, but other than that, I just keep forgetting. This is from a brand called Brooke and I got this set for five pounds. I bought this again with the intention to convert the trousers or to transform the trousers into a skirt have i got around to it no will i get around to it hopefully but this is one of my favorite favorite suits at the moment and i wear this tirelessly and i have every intention to continue to wear this tirelessly and i'm going to fix the button i promise this is three pounds I got it from the same charity shop. They set a lot of really nice blazers and stuff. This is quite heavyweight and this is from Bottoms. Um, I don't know how much they are originally, but they are, yeah, they're actually like a nice jackety kind of vibe. So some days um, when it's, it was cold, but not cold enough for a coat, I would throw this on and I would feel warm all day. I actually bought this because I wanted to make it into a dress. So a lot of the species I get with the intention to transform, I haven't gotten around to it. But hopefully soon, in the near future, I'll be able to do some transformation or two. But I have like this really cute idea for this blazer. But for now, I've just been wearing it the way it is. Last but not the least on the blazers is this simple black blazer. I've had this for a minute now. Again, this was either three pounds or two pounds. And the brand is... Taylor and Wright, whoever that is. 
I got this because I quite like the lining, it's lightweight and I have a lot of black trousers, black skirts that I wear for work so this is, it was a simple choice, I love a suit moment and this gives me that flexibility for when I want to pretend that my trousers and my blazer is a matching pair. So I've had this for like maybe a year and a half and honestly it's been such a good investment. Again I bought it with the intention to make it into a nice blazer dress but it's fitted so well and it's made more sense to have it as a blazer that I haven't made any um, changes to it at the moment. So my intention is to buy a different blazer and leave this the way it is. Sticking to the walkwear, this is a simple shirt by FNF. If you're in the UK, that's Tesco. And this is a brand called Double Two. I've never heard of them at all. This is one of the few items that I have that is actually women's wear. And this cost me two pounds from the charity shop. I like the simplicity of it and I like the strap details. So all of my shirts are usually just plain. So plain white, plain black, no details going on. So I'm trying to get ones with a few more details and stuff. And I think this actually like serves me really, really well. I think cause this is women's wear is a bit more cinched around the waist, which I absolutely love. Love. If you guys checked out my last transformation video, you might have seen this piece. Um, it was originally a white um, shirt. I actually transformed it by dyeing it into, into this pink color. I think it came out really, really nicely. The only thing that annoys me about it is the fact that the threads did not dye, but I think it creates a nice, really cute contrast. I wear this, you know, for work. I wear this for play. And these are like some of my favorite go-to shirts. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis. I am looking for a nice button-down dress, but black. Because, hear me out, I bought one from Zara one season, like maybe three seasons ago, and I used it for a video, and I thought, you know what, I'm not going to need this, so I returned it back to the shop. Let me tell you, it's hun it's that that's one of the worst decisions I've made in a very, very long time. I don't even remember how much it cost. I just know that I wish I'd kept that piece. So now I'm trying to find a replacement, but I can't be asked to literally spend like 45 pounds or even more on like a similar looking piece. So I've been keeping my eyes out at charity shops when I do go in to see if I can find any. And I found this. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's not quite the fit that I'm going for. So although it looks like it's a dress, it ends up coming up quite short. So it doesn't actually quite work for what I'm going for. One of the options is to obviously extend it, but I'm just like, is it even worth it? I'm not exactly sure. This only cost me a pound, so I'm not mad that it's not exactly what I'm after. I have layered it already um, to give me that dressy vibe but the whole intention is that when I wear it as a dress I need it to look like it's a dress I don't want it to look like it's a top that might be a dress if that makes sense so it's not quite long enough there's no other reason why I'm mad at it it's just that maybe not the best purchase this piece I had to go back to the store because when I found it I was like mm, will I wear it will I not wear it I do this thing where if I don't think I will get a lot of wear out of it I kind of take a step back and I go back if it's still there after a few visits then it's clearly mine you know what I mean then it's clearly mine it's get mass it's not I don't make a rule so this knitwear is from I don't know I think it's an individual who's designed it but I really really love this cable detail I just this cable detail was what got my attention you can wear this in the front you can wear it you know at the back as well depending on your style and however you want to style it I just think it looks really nice and the detail just gives it something a bit more oomph so this is a little bit more expensive than I actually would spend on like tops or blazers or stuff from a thrift shop but this was like I felt like it was worth it so this was like around six or seven pounds and if you're not subscribed now, please make sure to subscribe. I actually picked this up for pattern. I really like the fact that, you know, the silhouette is quite straightforward and I can use this to create patterns for when I do my transformation or when I'm working on other stuff. Because pattern pieces can be quite expensive. 
and now I've just decided if I want to create something I might just have to buy something that is a similar design from a charity shop cut it into pieces and there you go voila I have my pattern so I am not exactly sure what I'll be creating with this but I have just like you know kept it for now until I need this pattern or something similar then I'll be put you know using it for the pattern and this was only one pound moving on to the buttons I have this grey trousers that I intend to transform into a tailored skirt, like an oversized long tailored skirt and I'm really really excited for it. Again I have so much transformation that I want to play around with, I just don't have the time guys. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I get to transform it soon because if this works, my plan is to have this skirt in different colours because I can wear them for many many reasons and I plan to wear them for a long time. I know they're in season right now, they're trending everywhere but this was only a pound from the charity shop so I mean Quite frankly, I almost spent nothing and I have this skirt as well, which is also a pound. My intention for the skirt is to actually turn it into um, like those bandeau top, but the tailored ones, like a bandeau dress. And then I can wear it with like white collar shirts underneath it. Like if you guys, you know, I have some pictures here so to give you guys an idea what I'm going for. But I am going to admit that this is not... This is not going to be enough fabric so i might have to go back to find something similar to work with but that's not a problem this was 10 pounds anyway so i thought i'd grab this 10 pounds this was one pound so i thought i'd grab this for now and then i would come back for more fabric or to find something similar for when it's time for the actual transformation so i recently went to a youtube summit event and i had the urge to wear a long black skirt the only problem with that is i didn't have the style of skirt that i wanted i went into the trip shop and i started looking around and i found this number this is a size 18. i had to do everything in my power last minute to try to get it to fit hence the reason the stitches is all over the place so i'm going to obviously undo the stitch and do it properly because i mean look at those lines it's horrid but it, you know i wore it to the event i don't have any pictures but i promise you i looked great with the outfit it worked um, but i do need to make sure that i stitch this again and i believe this was only a pound or two how this alongside another pair of trousers that i got from um, urban outfitters i believe it was the parachute trousers i kind of wanted to just show people that obviously when something is trending you kind of want it in that moment but i am wary of trends these days because things are in and out of trends so quickly i feel like spending all that money and then you're stuck with it because you know you're trying to keep up with trends is very annoying so i just styled it to show like you know there's different ways to wear this if you want to you can go and spend the 40 30 something pounds in urban outfitters if you have it but if you don't have it do not kill yourself there is always an option there is always an alternative and i guess in hindsight that is the reason why i love thrifting and that is the reason why i wanted to show you guys more pieces moving forward that i thrift and how i transform or even style them in the future at some point i was ready to transform every single thing in my wardrobe into pink maybe probably apart from my black pieces because i do wear a lot of black and white um, but i got this because i needed the extra fabric to work with this other pair of trousers and i was trying to find something that is a similar shade for the longest these trousers are gorgeous but as you can tell they are so small around the waist my intention is to add some fabric so the plan was to use this fabric to add to this fabric so this becomes you know the right size I haven't gone around to it I think I will get around to it but I haven't gone around to it yet but when I do it is going to look amazing this was like two pounds and I believe this was three pounds from the thrift shop and this is just like a, a nice cotton pink trousers It's from a brand called Maswell spot never heard of them and this is by Adidas It's a really nice fabric but it is a skinny pair of jeans and I'm I don't I don't really care for skinny jeans anymore I was clearly lying to myself when I got this pair of shorts because I I wouldn't even say I wore it once I could not breathe it's so tight it's 
crazy. I used to have a dress that was a very similar print. Absolutely loved that dress, wore it almost every day. So when I saw it, I guess it was that feeling. I was like, oh my God, this is a very similar print to the dress. Da, 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 da. And I picked it up and this is in a size eight and it's by Misguided. Didn't fit me at all i can't breathe i can't zip them up so i'm not exactly sure what i'm going to do with them i'm just leaving them for the time being i will make that decision later but on the bright side it only cost me three pounds another piece that i bought for transformation <laughs> i see where this is going so it's not that i want to buy the clothes because i know i obviously won't fit them it's just that sometimes i buy the clothes because i think i would have enough time in my life to actually transform them and here we are many many months later the transformation hasn't happened the intention is there and you know what sometimes it's the intention that counts kind of like the fact that it's a stretchy fabric now, when it comes to a stretch denim, I have in mind to create like a nice denim dress. I've been seeing this really long, oversized denim dresses and stuff. I'm not gonna lie, the prices are not crazy. They're like 35 pounds or 45 pounds and stuff, which I think is quite good, actually, depending on the brand. But I think it's fairly good for like, you know, 65, 75 pounds. But the problem is, cause I know I can make it, I kind of feel like I should just make everything. And that's the problem because I don't have the time to make everything. So I've picked up this with the intention to one day make my own um, but I don't know maybe I might get around to it I think this is a size 16 and I got this for about two pounds this I have worn a few times to work I absolutely absolutely love this trousers it's from Topshop it is a size 10 and it cost me only three pounds it is a little Y2K number which I absolutely I'm here for so I wear this to work with obviously like shirts that are long enough to cover up but when I'm wearing it outside of work it's quite low waisted I absolutely absolutely think this piece is such a good value for money and this only cost me three pounds I believe this is like a size size 24 but 24 27 but it don't fit like it's 27 it fit like it's 32 or something I even had to gather around the waist to kind of like help cinch it in I don't think that made any difference anyway this was only two pounds from a charity shop it's from a brand that I do not know but I love love the detail on the trousers itself I wish it's a bit looser on the legs instead the waist is loose so I kind of feel like that's why it was donated I need to do I need to take this in a bit better but I don't have the time to do that now but I do love love the print on it, it is from Joseph guys joseph is one of my favorite brands that i can't afford so when i saw this pair of trousers i had to like even look at the stretch on that the quality is so so good and i think this is also in a size 10 36 what is 36 in uk size i'm just gonna pretend it's a size 10 for the sake of this video and this is a nice pair of trousers for work and it's also a nice pair of trousers for play the stretch on it is actually incredible it's actually so good and i feel like i'm going to still get look what was that i feel like i'm still gonna get a lot of wear out of and i got this for about four pounds make sure you subscribe don't, don't forget to subscribe that's the most important thing yeah 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 i know what you're thinking i am not gonna fit into this i have no intention to fit into this but i am getting this for the fabric i really really like the fabric and i think i'll be able to transform it into an absolute gorgeous gorgeous maxi dress i don't know when but that is the intention the intention is to turn this into a gorgeous dress and i believe that i'll be able to make it happen and also it's from jaeger like this brand is quite expensive so when i saw this skirt for three pounds i had to the fabric is amazing and i feel like if i am smart with the way i create a transformation i can make the most of the fabric and um get a great great result from it there was a time when I considered making all the transformation on my channel denim. Um, that time is not now. I'm not gonna be doing that anymore, but I do love working with denim. During those days, I was picking up denim left, right and center, and I picked up this trousers. It's kind of like, you know, a deep blue, lightweight, and it's by a brand called Styled by EWM. 
Honestly, I have no idea who any of these brands are and this is in a size 12. I think I got this for £2 actually and I've gotten a lot more wear from it than I thought I would. Again, it's one of those pieces that were supposed to be transformed but we're wearing it so that's something. Somehow we've made it to the last piece. Guys, this is the last number. I feel like there's some pieces that I haven't brought or I can't find or I don't know where they are. Honestly, we're gonna have to just save those for another video if I come across them. Again, my obsession with the tailored skirt, I picked up this number, but it's too small. It fits so tightly around the waist and I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. So I don't know I'm still thinking about this one and this cost me around three pounds as well so it's not like crazy it's really good fabric again I go for fabric I go for texture because I'm gonna need you know they make a difference especially when I'm doing transformation because if you're transforming clothes and you're using fabric that is already on its way out you're not gonna get a good result. Trust me, I know that because I've already made the mistake before. So when I'm looking at pieces that I'm gonna be transforming, I actually pay attention to the fabric and to see how much life they have on them. And this, I believe, still have quite a good amount of life and wear left on it. Another thing that charity shops are great for is accessories. I have a few scarves because I have some ideas that I want to play around with. This I got with some grandeur idea in mind and I still can't believe I didn't get, get around to doing that. I'm not even going to say it because I just feel too ashamed to even have the conversation. The tag is still on here and this is for £4. If my camera will focus. Yeah, so I got this for £4 from the charity shop. It's such a pretty colour. I also have this, which I got for like maybe £2. I wear this now, every now and again. Looks great. Um, and I had every plan to turn this into a skirt, but I don't know. I'm still seeing how, I go how it goes because I'm actually enjoying it as a scarf. And then this deep purple. Okay, I'm having way too much fun. This is, oof, I think this was like a pound actually. I think it was like a pound. And I was actually quite surprised to how big and long it is. It's a lot. It's a very different scarf. If you ask me, if I do say so myself, I picked this up for a pound. I'm not sure what the vibe is for it. But I'm sure I will find a way to style it. I have styled it already, but I feel like I can do a better job with the styling. I'm even tempted to make it into a top or a skirt, but I don't have enough fabric, of course, so I would have to work on um, finding something similar or just maybe like some kind of patchwork um, situation going on. But this was, uh, yeah, I believe a pound or two, but nothing more than that. I wouldn't have paid any more for it. If you've made it this far, do not forget to subscribe and I hope you like the pieces. Let me know which is your favorite. Moving forward, I'm going to be taking you guys to the shop with me because I really want this to be a fun experience. I love thrifting. It's kind of like a nice escape. And quite frankly, I have no problem with thrifting or buying things like secondhand. I know some people have a bit of stigma to it, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I'd rather pay three pounds for something that will last me a good amount of time than pay 65 pounds and then after two washes, it's falling apart. So I'm really enjoying the process of going into thrift shops, finding things, transforming them, or even keeping them the way they are. So if you would love to thrift, make sure you're subscribed. I'll be sharing daily tips. I'll be showing you guys how I transform some of the pieces. And most importantly, what I'm looking for when I go into the stores because I don't want to just walk into stop the shops for you know for the sake of walking into it um, I want to make sure I have a vision and I want to take you guys along with me so if you're not subscribed make sure you're subscribing don't forget to follow me on social on Instagram especially because I post styling and looks ideas um, that I hope 
would be useful to you guys i have been talking for a hot minute so right now i can't even speak anymore so please forgive me but this is the best i can do i'll see you guys in my next video let me know if it's called a charity shop or a thrift store depending on where you are here in the uk it's definitely called a charity shop but for the sake of terminology i have gone with thrifting i am not trying to be someone i'm not it's just you know what what's for the sake of this video so but yeah let me know what is called where your base and um, don't forget to let me know what you like to see on my channel and do not forget to share like and comment and as always I'll see you guys next time love you guys loads Mwah. bye